what is up guys i am back with another power of the primes review and today we are taking a look at the new power of the primes leader class optimus prime and there he is in his robot mode and first and foremost i just want to let you guys know i did upgrade him in paint wise so i'll show you throughout the review what i did to it i was kind of bored there the other day and uh yeah Gave him a couple more paint details than what the toy actually sh should have had whenever it came out. But, anywho, even I said, I'd like to thank a good friend of mine, Greg Monroe, for sending me this figure. Thank you, dude, you rock. Oh, yeah. Very well appreciated. So, here we go. We have Power of the Primes Optimus Prime. We'll set him off to the side for now. Take a quick look at the packaging. In the front of the packaging, you got Power of the Primes Leader Class Evolution Optimus Prime. And come around the back side on the side here. Got a nice picture of Orion Pax. On the side you got Transformers. And you got the, the Prime logos. On the back you got your obligatory product shots. 15 steps to change the deluxe Orion Pax. And 33 steps to change uh, the whole figure itself into Optimus Prime. But, uh, yeah, very cool, and uh, the Matrix of Leadership is swappable with uh, Micronus and all the other Prime Masters in this line, so, which is pretty cool. So you got that on the back, on the top, Power of the Primes, Authentic Transformers, and Words and Stuff, and that is it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Optimus Prime in all of his glory. And before we get there, he does come with a nice set of booklet of instructions. Very huge book of instructions. So, just like it says, he says you can use Titan, uh, Titan Masters, Headmaster, well, the Headmasters from the Titans Return line, or Prime Masters to swap with the Spark. You got Orion Packs, all that good stuff. There's, hey, there's Optimus Prime. Anywho, also don't forget to your uh, collector card. Nice, nice collector card of Optimus Prime there. Same piece of artwork on the packaging. And he is Optimus Vector. Time travels to fight where hope is lost. So Vector Prime is his his power up. So which is pretty cool. So yay for cards. So here we have. Let me try to move my camera in for you fellas. Here we have. Evolution Optimus Prime and uh, Yes, he's a very cool figure indeed I think I moved my camera in too far He is a big dude so So yeah, very cool uh, Like I said, this is how he comes out of the package Comes just like this transformed into Optimus Prime and first off. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat I painted Optimus Prime's fist blue, gave him these yellow uh, accents right here, and this panel up on top was just this gray, painted that red, and the back section of it red, and then his sides here red, where I could reach with the paintbrush, which is pretty cool, and I painted his stack silver right here, silver paint, and then I got his... Uh, his fog lights, his run, his run, run uh, yellow lights on his chest. So yeah, that's pretty much what all paint details I did to him, and uh, turned out pretty badass. And I also painted the rims of his vehicle mode anyway, but we'll get to that later on here. Anyway, he holds his weapon, nice G1 weapon, cast in black plastic. You can give a. Uh, Give his weapon to another figure, or if you want, and peg these together. Get a different gun going on there. So, so you can do with that, or you can just have two arm cannons. There's a port on each side, right here. So, like that, you can have something like that going on, but let him falling over. We'll take the weapons off to the side for now. Take, 
good detail look on him. You got some nice silver details on his feet. Got some nice sticker detail. Some stickers on him. You even got the tail lights on his toes. You even got the G1 inspired stickers right there by the yellow where I painted. So, also, he does come with his Matrix of Leadership. Which I hope I didn't drop. But anyway, there it is. Here is his Matrix of Leadership. Casted in clear blue plastic, painted orangish yellow. Very nice. Now to put this in here, like I said, uh, you can swap these out. You can put the Enigma combination in there. Or uh, a Prime Master. We'll do uh, Vector Prime. I mean, Alpha Trion. You can put him in there. Which is pretty neat. Or if you have Leadfoot, uh, Loudmouth sitting around again. You can peg him in here and has some disturbing things going on. Hey, how you doing? But, anywho. And you can, uh, this, this uh, has the same connector port right here. You can put these on Titan Masters for from the Titan's Return line. And have some weird things going on with that. But, anywho, storage-wise, just open this panel here. Come all the way out. Come in here, grab this next panel. It's like he has another truck inside, like he ate another truck. Alrighty. And then you just grab this here. And you just set it in there. It frictions in there. It's hard to do that with a chest like this. But you're supposed to be able to put this. The user put it in whenever he's in truck mode, which is funny. Stick that back in there. He has the matrix of leadership in him. Close this all up. And his chest ain't closing for some odd reason. It's that blue tab piece in here. If you make sure that hitches up in the truck. There we go. So, anywho, articulation wise, we'll color this. His arms rotate all the way around. This moves up this far, and then this panel here accommodates the arm mo movement, which is cool. Thought about painting these arm, uh, these pieces here red, but I was like, eh, I think I painted enough. But uh, articulation in the elbow, uh, elbow swivel right there. You got elbow joint, and uh, nothing in the fist. Unfortunately, would have been nice. Heads on a ball joint. Got some nice poses going on with there. Very nice head sculpt. Articulation for the legs. His legs come out that far. His arm. Legs come out that far. Legs come out that far. Got a thigh swivel without uncombining stuff. He got a thigh swivel, knee joint. And uh, feet articulation due to transformation. And he has actual have ankle tilt. Which is pretty cool. So anywho. So if you got any other figures in this wave. Put Optimus off to the side. Which I also got. Was leader class Rodimus Prime. His review will be coming next. And I actually got some upgrade pieces for him. 3D printed upgrade pieces. I will be doing a separate review for him. But, anywho. There's a size comparison for him. And, uh... Here's a size comparison with Voyager Grimlock. Like so. And spring in Leader Overlord. For size comparison. He's a little shorter than Optimus Prime. But anywho, I transform him back into his vehicle mode. Well, I would say his other mode, which is Orion Pax. Come to the back here. There's a little blue peg right here. You just pull down on this. Push the back cab section out. And this will reveal 
the part for Orion packs. So, the transform Orion packs from Optimus Prime's face. What you want to do is pull his legs down, like so. Rotate them, like so. Bring his feet up, like so. And my figure, my feet, uh, this leg does not like to stay on. Do you not understand why? So, anywho, grab the section here, pull it out. Pull these blue pieces up for his fist. Straighten them up. Like so, you can't have Optimus Prime like, hey, where's my big body? Hey. But, anywho, pull this section down, revealing Orion Pax's head. Bring this out. Rotate Optimus Prime's head all around, all the way. Like, hey, where am I going? Put this back up. It will tab in right here. Bring this up. Ryan packs head. We'll tab in between this gray piece right here. There we go. We have Orion packs. Which we finally got a nice version of his G1 self. Which is very cool. I love it. Love it very much. Move this down for you. And there we go. There is Orion Pax in his robot mode. Get in there on that noggin. Very nice head sculpt, silver and blue. His head's on a ball joint. Wiggle waggly. All that good stuff. A nice Autobot logo on his chest. Nice translucent blue. Some yellow detail right there. Some silver. Silver here, some sticker detail on his legs. It's pretty nice. And that's pretty much it for Orion Pax. His articulation, his arms on a ball joint, all the way around. Uh, elbow, well, arm swivel right there, below before the elbow. Double jointed elbow, nothing in the wrist except for transformation. Nothing in the waist, legs move out that far. Back far before you hit this section. His arm out that far. Rotate, thigh swivel, nice knee joint, and ankle tilt. <laughs> so, if you want to, you can give him uh, just this one blaster. I pick, I would say definitely on uh, just give him this little pea, pea shooter, or you can just give him two. You can give him uh, two little pea shooters, like bam, bam, you know. But that's yeah, just a Ryan Pax. We'll set him off to the side. Right there in front of the new Ghost logo from Ghostbusters. And we're going to transform him into his uh, the rest of Optimus Prime's exoskeleton into the iconic G1-ish trailer. What you want to do here is come to the back. You can see all the paint details I did. Put, put down his stacks. Bring it down. Like so. Bring these down. Like so. Alright. What you want to do here is rotate his arm. Pull this panel up. Move my camera up for you. There we go. Now what you want to do here, rotate his arm all the way out. Move this panel up. This panel here. Bring this panel out. Rotate this up. It'll be a side panel to his trailer. Not a big fan of his, uh, trailer bits hanging off of his exoskeleton but they pulled it off pretty nicely next up come up here rotate this whole section around bring this up elbow like so bring this section down you try matching this up like so next up same as last one rotate this around bring this panel back Bring this over. Bring this panel over. Bring this panel. And peg it. Bring it back. Peg it underneath the arms. Bring this panel up. Like 
so just like that rotate right back here like so match this section up like so next up comes the legs I'm gonna peg them here rotate these sections out bring this up we take these panels out to off the side, get them out of the way. Bring his feet up, like so. Bring these panels out, like so. Tab his legs together, like so. What you want to do here is bend his knees down, like so. Bring down, like so. Now bring these panels up. I'm gonna forget bring this panel out too. Bring this panel up. Bring this panel off to the side. Bring this up. This will tab into the feet. See a blue tab right here. Tab into here. Flip these panels over. And just tab them together. Like so. And grab these pieces here and just tab them together. To make sure everything's tabbed in and uh, there's a little tab right here for this panel here you see it tabs into this side of his waist of this robot mode tab all this junk in see those accents really pull off nice for this top last but not least pull the trailer hitch down like so and there we got Optimus Prime's trailer I see all about Legos sitting there Kind of gives you that Power Master Prime look. But, uh, anywho, very cool. The silver, silver paint for the rims, which I painted. Turned out pretty good. Turned out pretty good. I can't believe it. Anyway, that is his trailer. So, next up is Orion Pax's transformation. Get rid of the guns. If you want to, supports on top. Store the guns if you choose. Me personally, it's stupid having them store up there, but eh, it's a thing that you can do. Transform into his vehicle mode. Fold his arms up. Fold these in. Unpeg his head and bring his chest down. Bring it all the way down till it clicks, just like that. See Optimus Prime's head there. Just leave it alone. Rotate these all the way around. Rotate this at the same time. So, rotate the arm here. Bring this around. Reviewing Autobot logos on both sides, which I put there. Very nice. Next thing you would do is for the legs, rotate them. Without them coming out of the socket, except for this one here. Rotate them. Put this in. Rotate them. And uh, right here, you can see there's a tab right here. We'll tab together. Like so. And you rotate these up. And there's these blue tabs right here. They will tab in right here at that yellow piece right at the edge. Like so. Tab them in pretty good. Make sure Ryan's head's right there. You can see the a little dirty right there on that one, but bring the section over back, clip it in, rotate these sections down. These blue tabs right here will slot right here. And here we have the iconic Optimus Prime's vehicle mode. A lot of people's not too familiar i mean like like this way with the arms wish you would have been able to move the arms over to fill this gap like right here but you can move the arms down like this give it a little bit better look but uh, yeah the smokestacks are right here I, I thought about painting them but uh, yeah so i don't know yet maybe who knows 
I did uh, silver paint for his uh, gas canisters on both sides. Silver rims. Anywho, Orion's head's just hanging back here between his legs. Awkward. And uh, you just slot this in. Yeah, he said slot. And uh, there we go. We got the G1 Optimus Prime look. Which really looks pretty damn good. Size comparison, bring in one charger. The Bumblebee. Beachcomber in robot mode. So yeah, very cool. Indeed. I like it how they did this with this Optimus Prime. Very nice. I know it's a long video I just did, but uh, I went down the step by step of out of the package. A lot of people don't do that these days, but uh, but yeah, Optimus Prime rolls very nice, except for that back wheel. It's hanging up there, got a little bit extra paint on it, but but his truck mode pops now with the rims painted, which is pretty badass. Even his robot mode, and also I want to point out. There's little tabs up here on top for Prime Master ports. So if you have Alpha Try on, you can peg him on top. You'd be like, hey, how's it going? Or Loudmouth. Peg his ass in there. Or Alchemist Prime. Hanging out there. So it's pretty neat and I also wanted to tell you you guys can actually stick a figure in the back of Optimus Prime it's tricky but it's possible just untab these sections here from the back rotate this down like so there you can see there is room in there for a vehicle so let's try Bumblebee now the feet won't fit in there he's too big yeah, that's what she said but uh, if you want to, you can put one of those, the pretender shell people in there and uh, close this up. Yeah, it's up to you. It's a thing that you can do. And uh, check on my Instagram later, fellas, after this, if you see this review. Check my Instagram. I will be showing you guys a alternate base mode for Optimus Prime's trailer. Kind of gives you that Power Master vibe. But, uh, so yeah. It's a thing that you can do. So there is the new Transformers Power of the Primes Orion Pax Evolution to become Optimus Prime. So yeah, very cool. Um, a little bit of different paint details I added to it. Uh, a lot of people might not be like, oh, it sucks, you know. But uh, I just took my time doing it. And, uh, eh. Again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? It's not for a Klondike bar, either. So, so yeah. Definitely, don't forget to check out... Uh, check out Greg Monroe. Thanks again, dude. You rock. Sending me these awesome figures. And, uh, definitely. Definitely can't wait to get some more Power of the Prime figures. But, there is the Evolution Orion Pax and Optimus Prime, ladies and gentlemen. So, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, this is Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep a lookout for new videos headed your way. And uh, follow me on Instagram, I'll follow you back on Instagram. All that good stuff. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel. It'll be down in the description down below. And also, don't forget to check out Web Junior 1977 Prime John 1 Chris Stuff. Liquid Cool 440, Liquid Cool 360. Iowa Hawks, uh, the Nerdy Effect, Dr. Jekyll, all them guys are on my gaming channel, but, you know, I love to give these guys shout-outs, so, until next time, fellas, thanks for watching, this is Trans Aaron 38 out, later.